Which one, sir? <laughs> no, she's the mother of my kid. Two. Yes. She's the mother of my two kids. No, she's the first one. Then in between there was, uh, in between there was another woman when she was pregnant, but only for that time. You say what? Only for that time when she was pregnant. Then I impregnated another woman, but I was never with her. I've been with you were never. I was never with her. You just went and made her pregnant. Yeah, never was actually pregnant because I understand with our first child. So that time we thought of how can, and then you know, I tried I, I, to. You know, move. I know God won't lie to me. Yes. It was when I, I touched you many times. I was seeing a woman, and I was asking myself, "But who is this one?" That's why I ask, "Is this your wife?" Because I was seeing a woman, but I saw a child close to the woman, <laughs> but it was not this one. So please, uh, you need to forgive each other. Yes. You need to forgive each other. Mistakes can happen. Yes. So you hear me? Yes. Move but the till over the face and then since Papa. Go finish. Yes. This is your wife. Thank you. Because if it was another woman, she wouldn't be here with you. Yes. Please uh, go finish. Forgive him. You must forgive him. But also respect him. Amen. Thank you. You are hearing me, Mama? Amen. Mm, this man, there are things that is completely about you also. Please, yes, yeah? it's true. fix them. When are you got anger problem? It's true. Yeah? It's true. You've got a serious anger issue. It's that when true. you're angry, everything gets mixed up. It's true, man of God. And you know this man, this one, he just talk a lot, but he, he's not a person who fights. Yes. Amen. You know, there are people who talk, but they can't fight. But you, if you're angry, hey, hey. So please, know this thing. There's God, there's your husband, there's you. Amen. Did I put it right? Yes. Huh? There's God. It can't change. It will never change, whether you are educated or not. I don't know if I make sense to you people. Huh? She's a good woman. But she's not alone here. There are many here that have got anger issues. And their husbands, they won't tell us. If you are, you are a woman, deal with your anger. If you see that it's getting out of control, search for prayer. There are many here. If they are angry, they don't even cook. Huh? I'm telling you, they don't cook. They will tell you, go buy, take away. That's why now, you see, you know, I, I'm not guiding these people. I'm guiding everyone here. I'm sure you're hearing me. That's why now you see broken marriages everywhere. Someone has been married for six months. The marriage is broken. Six months. Only six months. You people, you can't talk to each other. bathroom, Simply take off it. When I are there. Huh? Please. In, in marriage, anger doesn't work. Anger does not know. So now, there are some anger problems that are caused by demons. Not because when you are too tough. It's a demon. And that demon wants you to end somewhere, which is jail. Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you? Please sir. respect your husband. Amen. You must also buy her flowers, buy her chocolate. <laughs> Even if she does not eat, make her to feel like she's a she's a queen. Thank you. That's prophet. what they want, these people. Thank you, Prophet. So love each other. God will bless. Even your businesses they will work. Thank you, Prophet. Jesus.
Come on. Come on. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Just shut up. What are you doing there? What are you doing? Hey, man. Shut up, man. Shut up. Stop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't tell these people. They will never change. Even them, you tell them. They will never change. They will never change. They will kill each other. You hear that? You are hearing the demon they now. Will kill each other. Say you will, they kill, will each other. kill each other. Because it's they serious. Will kill each other, these people. Yeah? Jesus, they will kill each other. You want them they to kill each kill other? Kill each other. Yes. Control your anger. Yes. They will kill each other. Can you hear that? Now you are you hearing from a demon. Them. You stop it. You stop it. Who are you? Who are you? You want to change this world? Who are you? Who are you? you can change this world. Yes, yes. This world belongs to me. Who are you? You are a small boy. Small boy like you. Small boy like you. I will deal with you. The whole family. I will come to you one by one. One by one. One by one. This time, you will never succeed. This time, this time, my agents are here. My agents are here. My agents are here. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makadanisa. And standing with me here today is my family, who were located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon their lives. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Romelda Kodisang, and this is my husband, Gavin Malope. We are from Midrand. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your lives. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, the Prophet um, ministered unto us that um, there's a lot of anger, um, especially with me, um, and uh, there could be a demon involved. Um, that is why I'm always angry and and so on and um, he also saw uh, another woman in my husband's life whom he had a child with before um, we were together or while I was pregnant so that prophecy was true um, he does have a child outside with someone else um, but prophet said um, we must forgive and um, yes I I agree that there's a lot of forgiveness that needs to be done. And how did that affect you? Um, it, it affected me in a way that it's something we wanted to deal with uh, a long time. Um, we, we felt that there was something hindering us, hindering our progress, hindering our marriage from moving forward. He hasn't finished Lobola. He's wishing to finish. He can't. And perhaps uh, these are un uh, issues that are not dealt with that we need to, um, you know, deal with. So it was, um, it was a blessing for Prophet to bring the issues out in the open and to prophesy to us so that it can be, um, it can be you know, removed from our lives. And so how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you guys as a family and he ministered upon your lives? Thank you so much. In fact, before even uh, Prophet Andres, when uh, Papa was preaching about unity, uh, that really spoke to both of us because this morning we had prayer and we gave Jesus Christ an ultimatum to say if we don't resolve this today, tomorrow relationship is finished. It's over. So, the way uh, uh, Apostle Makananisa taught today was, he was e e exactly speaking to our hearts. And then followed by Prophet Andres touching us, that was a cherry on top, really. Yes, it was a cherry on top. Yes, I do have uh, another child. So, while she was pregnant, because she was pregnant with my first child, I didn't understand her. I couldn't support her. I thought she was too much, and to the point that when she said to me, I must move on, I took it literally, I moved on. And then in the process, then I impregnated someone else. So, but that was for the duration while she was still pregnant. But as soon as the child deli was delivered, then our relationship was short-lived 
we never continued with our relationship. And what words of encouragement do you have for a couple that's going to come across this clip? As uh, Apostle Makaranisa said, it's all about unity. Uh, division does not help. A family needs one vision. And a family needs to communicate. And I will also add with uh, what uh, Prophet Andre said. Anger. Ah, clever. Not dealing with anger. But mama, but anger too much. Ah, what I want now. Ah, not dealing with anger. It's too much. Ah, it's too much. And then that um, frustrates the communication in the house. Yes.